Hello, I'm Judy. This is our Panera Posse. This young lady's name is Miriam. Christy on this end and Dennis in here. <laughs> okay. Anyway, we've been meeting at Panera for a long, long time, years as a matter of fact. Our little group grows and then it shrinks and then it grows and then it shrinks. We never know who's going to show up, but we're so happy when Dan does because he's a ray of sunshine. We love to talk to Dan. When, when we first met Dan, uh, I had gone to the back of Panera and when I was coming back, we had always had this big table up, you know, full of people. And when I was coming back, I saw this guy sitting in the booth and he had a laptop here and a iPad there. And I'm going, why do you look at both of them, you know? And so I just stopped, you know, the nosy person that I am. And I said, uh, hi, uh, can you tell me why you have these two things here? And he looked and he said, yeah. And so he started telling me why, you know. And uh, so I said, oh, and he introduced himself. And I said, hey, why don't you come over and meet my group? And so he got up and he met with us and we've been doing that ever since. I too met Dan at Preneurs, uh, a little unlike Judy. Um, she told me that there was someone running for office. So I saw him and I think he had uh, one of the people working for him or, you know, campaigning with him. And so I went over and I asked him, you know, what are you doing? He told me he was running for a state senator. And, and I asked him, I said, well, are you going to be a good guy? Are you going to be a crook? You know, and he said, no, I'm going to be a good guy. And I said, good. So I sat down and I talked to him and I was very impressed with his sincerity. Uh, I've been around politicians for a long time and uh, he was, uh, as Judy said, he was a ray of sunshine. So, um, and so every time we see him, he and I have a great conversation because I'm always challenging, what are you doing, what are you not? What are you? And he he's graciously talks to you, unlike a lot of politicians, you meet him, hey, how you doing, but, and they keep running. But he sits and talks and uh, answers your questions and whatnot, you know, so. The thing that I really love about Dan is he's, like you say, he's definitely got integrity. Mm -hmm. But he's a, he's a strong family man. He's a good Christian guy and uh, the kind of guy that we like and we know is out there for us. Anything we ask him, he always has a good answer for, you know, and explains everything. So we appreciate that. And piggyback on it, it's not necessarily a good answer, it's an honest answer, because we don't necessarily agree on every niche and That's cranny right. with him, but he's you know, kind enough to sit there and tolerate us and say, okay. And he, we talk about integrity, uh, he does have that, have a good friend who's retired from the uh, Tulsa Teachers Union, uh, Union, and he had been singing his praises to me, and he's been instrumental in doing some things in North Tulsa that a lot of the other banks uh, would not do. So, mm -hmm. and I applaud Dan for that. Even though I don't live in North Tulsa, mm -hmm. I'm an advocate for them, and so sure. is he. And one final thing I like to say about Dan, and I think I told him that I said what we need in Washington is a Daniel to straighten out our problem. I said you could be our Daniel, not just for the state of Oklahoma, but for the country. We really could benefit from a man uh, like Dan. You know. Well, Dan yeah. cares about all of, all of us, us, the yeah. whole city. Yeah. I don't normally talk about politicians, but most of them I don't like, but Dan is the exception. He uh, is. And I've Definitely. been, I'm from the East Coast, so I'm really involved in politics back there, and uh, what a breath of fresh air, you know. 